It doesn't happen often that a young scientist makes a significant and unexpected discovery but postdoctoral researcher Stephen Wu of the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory just did exactly that. What he found that you don't need a magnetic material to create spin current from insulators has important implications for the field of spintronics and the development of high-speed, low-power electronics that use electron spin rather than charge to carry information. Wu's work upends prevailing ideas of how to generate a current of spins. This is a discovery in the true sense, said Anand Bhattacharya, a physicist in Argonne's Materials Science Division and the Center for Nanoscale Materials, a DO Office of Science User Facility, who is the project's principal investigator. There's no prediction of anything like it. Spin is a quantum property of electrons that scientists often compare to a time any bar magnet that points either up or down. Until now scientists and engineers have relied on shrinking electronics to make them faster, but now increasingly clever methods must be used to sustain the continued progression of electronics technology as we reach the limit of how small we can create a transistor. One such method is to separate the flow of electron spin from the flow of electron current, upending the idea that information needs to be carried on wide wires and instead flowing it through insulators. To create a current of spins in insulators, scientists have typically kept electrons stationary in a lattice made of an insulating ferromagnetic material, such as yttrium iron garnet YIG. When they apply a heat gradient across the material, the spins begin to move that is, information about the orientation of a spin is communicated from one point to another along the lattice, much in the way a wave moves through through water without actually transporting the water molecules anywhere. Spin excitations known as magnons are thought to carry the current.